What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja channel. Now today we are doing another weapon log review where I take some weapon that I got from somewhere or somebody sent me and review it for you and tell you what I think about it. And today we are doing this key knife. So guys, before we get started, if you could leave a like, I would very, very much appreciate it if you guys left a like just so it helps with the YouTube algorithm and all that fun stuff so that this video gets seen by more people. And it just lets me know that I'm doing a good job. So whether you like it or hate it, leave a like or dislike and let me know what you think about it. But let's get into that review. So I have seen this on Instagram and a couple different other websites. Uh, saying this is a great self-defense weapon and I have a couple of issues with that now as a knife it's pretty solid it's simple enough to open it has a fingernail hook right there that you can get your fingernail into just pull it out just like that it's pretty self-explanatory how you open it and it's fairly effective in cutting things I have just this random silverware here boom pretty simple so it's great for simple knife things whether you're cutting tape or maybe a letter that you got or something like that but this is not good for self-defense and this is not good for anything uh, requiring a stiff knife because the biggest issue I have with this knife is that it doesn't lock it has no locking feature so you can close the knife by just pushing on it compared to other pocket knives like this one I reviewed it a little bit ago so check out the cleaver if you want to but this pocket knife doesn't close unless you push the lock mechanism to close it so we can be safe. this doesn't have that this just closes just boop, just like that so if you are holding it trying to defend yourself like this and hit something wrong or rub against something the wrong way you can cut yourself more than you're actually cutting your target your enemy that makes this a very dangerous thing to get for the purpose of self-defense as far as concealment and normal uses like cutting tape and opening boxes opening letters stuff like that this is great because when it's in its key form yeah if you're looking at it it stands out but when it's with all of your keys like if you're like me you carry a lot of keys like I do oh shout out to, to my boy Superman but if you're like me and carry a lot of keys then this key in that mix won't stand out at all I've set my keys up in places while I was at school I put my keys on my desk while I'm at work I put my keys out and, and fidget with them and not once has someone noticed that this is actually something more than a key now don't get me wrong I enjoy this knife I think this is an awesome little gadget here but I wanted to make this video for the same reason I made my extendable staff video. This is being promoted as a self-defense tool. And yeah, it's a knife. You could use it effectively at self-defense. You can stab somebody with it if you absolutely had to. But this is not built for self-defense. This doesn't have the lock that is vital as far as holding a knife to self-defense. And the fact that it is so small means you have to hold where the knife will fold into. If you look, the knife folds into almost at the top. You can't, there's nowhere at this knife you can hold other than this one spot here that will allow you to use this knife in self-defense without the possibility of cutting yourself in the process. So if you already have this knife and do use it for self-defense, be very careful. Don't cut yourself, don't hurt yourself using it uh, incorrectly and if you are looking for a small hidden self-defense knife I've got some suggestions for you uh, this video up here will be my necklace knife review it's a little necklace that looks something like this and when it's hanging around your neck you have the ability to pull out the knife just like that or you can look for something simpler and easier to hide like a crambit that's hanging underneath your shirt or the pin knife that shoots out the knife out the tip all of those are better options than using this as a self-defense knife. Now guys, I am getting, I am currently getting ready for November's Avatar Month. I do it every year for those of you that are new, which is honestly most of you guys, because I think last Avatar Month, I didn't even have 10,000 subscribers yet, and now I'm at like, what, 22? Yeah, 22.4 thousand subscribers, which is 
awesome. But if you are interested in checking out the Avatars themed uh, month, it's gonna be in November. I'm gonna do two uh, weapon logs meant for Avatar. I'm gonna break down some Avatar fighting styles, some um, battles, some, uh, I got a bunch of stuff planned, guys. It's all in here. Actually, it's all written down, but it's gonna be on video for you guys later on. So if you're interested in that, definitely stick around, hit the subscribe button so you can get notified when that all starts. If you really care about being notified when all that fun stuff starts or when I go streaming for, for live unboxings and stuff like that, if you really want to know about that stuff, I will always let my Discord know. There are links down in the description uh, to Discord if you want to join my Discord. Definitely hit me up. I love having a conversation. If you want to ask me a question, hit me up on Discord. I'm always down to have a chill conversation with you guys on Discord. But until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and let, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think what you think about this knife down in the comments below. Let me know if you're gonna get it. I'm, I'm curious to see how many of you see a good use for this other than collection or like, you know, letters and stuff like that. Let me know if you have an idea in your head. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.